Stop trying to say the Super Bowl is on the same level as the World Cup. It's it's King, Tony, and everyone else. It can't be like no, that. No, I'm it's so not. Sorry. It's not. It I'm can't so be. sorry. No. Oh my God. Can you answer the f question? <laughs> Todd Bowie, if you wanted to buy Brighton, you it was it was cheaper. Go there now. <laughs> Go there. <laughs> Brighton would have even cost you that much Bro, money. Bro, I think he literally bought like what eleven of stuff. Like, if we win tomorrow, right? That's the start of the project that will then you finally see that the project is projecting. Mm. That's the only way you can see. If you lose tomorrow, the project is dead. Dead right there. Right in the sky. Yeah. You have to give Ben Williams his props though. That like, was a good song to be not, 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 yeah. not even just with the song in general. Just, just like, the way he's gone, like Yeah. But um now nah, whenever I like when I see it, I was just like, we're Yeah. You know. <sighs> oh, guys, 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 guys. Hey, I love you. I be your shit, just your shit. I buy a shit. Hey. Guys, welcome back to another episode of the DES podcast. I am here with the main man himself, the Chelsea supporter, the one of a kind. Introduce General yourself, Overse please. The General Overseer. The <laughs> <laughs> this guy, the General Overseer. <laughs> I know it's yeah. So, Eddie. so, so, what's Sam? If you're the general overseer, Sam is my apprentice. <laughs> you know, you know he's gonna, you know he's gonna beef you when he gets back. Yeah, man. fully. I'm waiting. Yeah. Anyway, guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, and yeah, let's get straight into it. So, <sighs> American people. <laughs> America, America, your great uh, nation, the Americans. US of A's, please, 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 I need to make something very clear to you, <laughs> never, I know it's not all of you, I'm going to say some of you, most of them though, most of, most nah, of them, maybe some, stop trying to say the Super Bowl is on the same level as the World Cup, I repeat again, mm. the Super Bowl is nowhere near not even what close. the world could not even close like no irish person and irish people please correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> goes into a pub and says oh, oh i yeah, want to watch the super bowl oh, do you want to yeah. watch super bowl are you drunk there's more of a chance of and there's more of a chance of these irish people going to the pub to watch the afcon final that than the super bowl super final bowl. Please. what kind of rubbish is that though like the super bowl I think the most I ever got in views was a hundred and twenty-four million. Mm. Like, let me not let me let me make sure I'm not talking sh out of my ass or anything. Mm. Um, and I'm pretty sure the most the World Cup got in viewership was one point five billion. Billion. B. See, so there's a big B. 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 <laughs> billion, not million, no billion. billion. Ah, can you imagine though? Oh my god! Oh I mean, my so, god! So, so I'm not going World Cup highest um viewership. View, viewership. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> no, so I now I don't know if this if this is correct or not. Yeah. It says, as of 2023, the most watched sport events in the world are the World Cup, 5 billion viewers. Jesus. Tour de France, 3.5 billion viewers. Yeah? The Tour de France. Cricket World Cup, 2.6 billion viewers. Okay, that's fair. Women's World Cup, 2 billion viewers. The Summer Games, which had... Summer Games, which had 2 billion viewers. The Winter Games, which had 2 billion viewers. The UEFA Champions League final, which had 450 million viewers, hmm. and then the Super Bowl with 115.1 million. So it's not even bigger than the Champions League, let alone the World Cup. No, that's that's uh, the, the Champions League. <laughs> ah! Tour de France. Tour de France. That's the, cycling bike. The Women's World Cup. The Women's World Cup. Come on. You see? You see? Cricket. And you, man, are trying to say. That the Super Bowl is on the same level. Behave. Please. Nobody from Ireland or... I know, co people correct me if I'm wrong. No, please. I want people to ask correct me if I'm wrong. Wakes up and says, I want to fly to America to watch the Super Bowl. There's more Americans, in my opinion, that would rather fly to 
Europe to mm -hmm. watch the Champions League final, to watch the World Cup final, mm -hmm. than they are thinking anybody in Europe is going to go there and watch um, the Super Bowl. No one against Super Bowl. Super Bowl is actually, I've watched it for the first time, um, the first time, not the first time when the last one that they were playing. Because, last um, year? No, this year. Oh, this the, year. the one that they're playing oh, this the year. One that, yeah. You know, I don't understand that game whatsoever. I, but, no, I, I, I'm i kind of understanding it, but it's, it's too... It doesn't it, make sense. It doesn't though. make sense. Not at all. Oh, my God. But, um, no. But on the reels, though, like, let's be honest. Don't try this rubbish again. I don't even <laughs> want it. If I ever, if I see, I'm, go I'm commenting on everything now. <laughs> don't try to compare the Super Bowl to any type of football in Europe. Nothing. It's just not the it's same. It's not the same. Because... Man. Nothing against the sport. It's just for Americans. Mm. Soccer or football, whatever people want to call it, is worldwide. The worldwide. The worldwide. Like, do you get me? Like, mm. I don't like. I don't. I. I don't think I've only seen. Um, it was expressions. I think that went to Super Bowl. Like, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Like, that's it. And for, for and the tickets, the, the amount of, you have to pay for them tickets as well. It's ridiculous. I swear it was like 5k or something. Yeah, that's what? what some people were playing. Can you imagine? Just some, that's, that's probably lower end. There's people that said they were saving to go. Like, saving, saving to, to go. go. Saving. saving. Yeah, saving money. Just like, <laughs> to go to something. They <laughs> 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 tried to really compare the Super Bowl ah. to the World Cup. Ah. Like, Netflix oh. did a whole mad-ass documentary mm. on the... On the World Cup. Mm. The, and I, look, yeah, just like maybe in all together, I had five billion views, but for, just for the final, they said 1.5 billion people sure. were watching. Okay. That's not talking about the people that were legally streaming, the, the <laughs> legally streaming, you know, hearing on the radio, mm. the places where they couldn't count mm. the people that were watching the World Cup final. Ah. Like, ah. you people need to come on, please. Give don't, yourself, Don't job. do that. Don't do that. Don't do <laughs> Like, even, let, let's, let's even for example, yeah, let's put it, um, let's put it like this. Just make sure. Just sorry. Just make sure that the just we keep an eye on this to make sure yeah, that's yeah. recording. Just let's even give an example, right? When the World Cup, when football is on, do you ever see how people celebrate in the streets? Mm. Do you see people do? I don't correct. Like, I don't. I don't see that. Mm. I don't see that anywhere. Do you remember the parades when Liverpool won the the Champions League? The West City. Do you know? Do you know the oh. par the parades in general when? Oh, you, you people need to just... even a chance from a football match. It's so wonderful, and you have the audacity to compare it. Can you imagine? How dare you? It's actually crazy, though. How, no, actually, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? Um, what? And, That's fucking crazy, though. And you know, but you know, you know, the Americans with a bit of a brain will know that the World Cup is bigger. When 100%. I heard, when I, some of them was like, "Oh yeah, the Super Bowl is bigger." I'm like, "Super Bowl, Kimmy." I said, "Super Bowl, Super Bowl." <laughs> Just because oh. Taylor Swift was starting there doesn't mean anything, Jerry. Oh, Give yourself. No, oh, just because, just because, just because you have a halftime show because someone comes and performs. Yeah. Come on, shut, oh, shut up. The world, it's not like the World Cup doesn't have it as well. Like, Abby, please get out of here. Even the halftime show, I saw it was rubbish. Don't mind them. Who, who was it? It was this? Usher. Oh, that one that was serenading women. <laughs> and he, and he has a wife at all. You know, apparently he got married the next day. Can you imagine? Ah. <laughs> That's oh what you God. people are promoting on your TV. <laughs> Oh, Anyways, but please, like, uh, okay, all jokes aside, like, like the Super Bowl has nothing. Like, <laughs> nothing. I mean, nothing. Not even close. I don't even need to come with facts. I don't. I know there's gonna be like, yeah, no facts. Like, if you really understand sport, you know, soccer is the biggest sport globally in the world. Oh, I love even that. in your own country. Mm. Your own country. Let me not talk about when Messi came to the country ah! and people <laughs> people were shaking in their boots to hey. just be getting tickets every time. Mm. Even even your big stars, Kim K, all of them, just <laughs> to see Messi. Just to see Messi. No one, no one, no one's shaking here if they see Tom Brady. If I see what's his name, um, Travis. Travis, what's his called? What's his name? Again? I don't even know any of them. Travis, Kel uh, Travis Kelsey. Oh, that um, Taylor Swift. Uh, Taylor Swift man. man. I don't know who he is. If bro. he came, what, I would like, say, what was that? No, bro, let's be honest. Realistically speaking, none of us know who these NFL, NFL no. players are. But all of them know these footballers. You know your Ronaldo's, you know your Messi's, you know your Neymar's, mm. you know your Mbappe's. Mm. You know them. So yeah. I, know that, I know there's going to be some stupid people here <laughs> commenting all this rubbish like, oh, I don't know them. You may not know them because you're small-minded. <laughs> but trust me, people who know sport know the biggest names Which in sense? sport. Ronaldo, Messi, Mbappe, Neymar. Neymar. Don't even let me start with you people. Oh, is it not? And you know what's funny they, was it not them that would come and collect all those people in Europe to bring to their league just to 
Just to make them... Ah! Don't. A lot more. Hey! Anyways, guys. But Americans, please. If you want to support us, support us, please. Oh. Hey, we like to support too. We just support us. I know you might hate me for the next few minutes, but please. I'm actually, just, I just actually have to be honest. It's just a very stupid analogy I see from people saying that. Excuse me. The Super Bowl is on the World Cup's level. Come on, please. Let's not do that. Let's, 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 let's be that. ourselves. Even money-wise, let's not do that. <laughs> let's not do that. But again, guys, um, yeah. Like, what do you genuinely think of that statement when they say it? Like, let's not, let's not. The, what, the, the Super Bowl is bigger than the World Cup. Cup. Yeah, crazy. Right, I, don't I, do, I, don't, I don't understand it, to be fair. Because, yeah. like, who, like, there's no one. Like, I, wouldn't, I would never say to the boys, actually, let's go to the pub and watch the Super Bowl. Mm. Like, do I do, do like, I look crazy to you? Like, you know, like, let me, let's put it like this, right? There's more of a chance of people who went to go watch the African Cup of Nations final. final. Yeah. The place, mm, let me not say that because I'll get myself in trouble. <laughs> but whoever understands in my eyes what I mean by the African Cup of Nations, that there's more of a chance of, mm, uh, I'm not going to say anything. But I'll explain to you after what no, I know. No, um, <laughs> Yeah, like, you're right. No one's going to... I, I, my friends, will never turn around and say... I'm go, like, it's more of a chance of me going to watch the Olympics in the pub. <laughs> God knows, watching, like... I'm watching the... I'd rather watch the... What am I even saying? The Olympics... Oh, my God. I'd rather watch the darts than the watch darts the... The is more entertaining. Oh, my God. Oh. Anyways. Sorry, guys. Um, whoa. Sorry, we're just very irritated because we've been seeing this all over socials about it's rubbish. It's just rubbish that the Americans going around saying the Super Bowl is on the same level as the work. The work, even okay, the World Cup was twenty three. World Cup was just twenty twenty. Hey yo, yeah, it's two thousand twenty four now. Was it wasn't last year? It was the year before. You know why I thought it was last year because it was during winter. That's yeah, 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 it was twenty two. Yeah, that World Cup final itself. The storyline behind it, you Bruh. have to try to compare that to the Super Bowl. Messi finally winning that World Cup, Mbappe scoring a hat trick in the World Cup final, and he had the audacity, the nerve, you had the temerity, the hey! utmost audacity to compare it to. Behave yourself, Jerry. Oh, anyway. oh my God. <laughs> oh, um, but hell. let's get on to some good news. Mm. Did you? You didn't watch it, chunks, uh, and this guy no, I didn't watch Abba's it, no. charity match yesterday. Yeah. Now, I just want to say a big shout out. Chunks will never see this. Of course. But a big shout out to Chunks. Because mm-hmm. I heard he raised like 7.5 million for education. Jesus. Yeah. He raised 7.5 million for. Wait, children. who organized that? Um, I don't know, but it was in Qatar. And mm. it was. I I was like. um, Let me just look up. I was watching it yesterday. And yeah. I will not lie to you. Yeah. It's just. I when I see stuff like this, like the side man, mm. um, the side man, the chunks, all these people doing this stuff, like you know, for charity, like to raise this amount of money mm. for giving children education. I don't yeah. know if it's just I'm not sure where it's for. Yeah. But however, like I just it brings a smile to my heart, and I and I would support. I will watch the whole thing and support in any way I possibly could. Yeah. I wish we people in Ireland had a big enough platform to do that, honestly. Because, as I said to you before, I know it's for charity and everything, but no one can correct me. Now, if you got all the people who are doing content in Ireland to do a charity match against people in the UK, I, it would be an annihilation. Like, probably, we, yeah. Like, I'm not even being bad. Like, again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the problem with this, but from the people who I know who are doing stuff in the, in, like, who are doing the YouTubes, the TikToks, mm. that I know, that I've heard, and I know, and I've seen play ball. The ball is there. Even there's a girl who can ball better than all of them. <laughs> there is mm. a girl that I'm not, I'm, I've never seen her ball, but yeah. the fact that I heard she got called up for Ireland before, and I heard she's a baller, yeah. end of story. Mm. Like, end of move, story. Move and, she, and she does, she's like, she's like, she does all the YouTube, she does TikTok. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know she's done a few, her name's not coming to mind right now, but I am not messing when I say this. There is no, like, I respect. I respect what they do. If any of you UK respect, people see this, we I, bet ya. I respect. I respect the hustle. <laughs> mm. I respect everything you do. The hustle please, is nice. Don't ever try like people. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the bet I'm telling you. Actually, <laughs> will annihilate you. Finished. And, it, and this isn't me saying that. Oh, they're gonna get this person happening. I mean, the people who purely do podcasts, mm. who do TikTok, yeah. who do all these things. Mm. Like that's that's that's. Mm. But what do you think about all these charity games? Like I. 
For well, ex- I just wonder, no, because the Sideburn one is very different to the one that the Chunks, Chunks did yesterday because the Chunks one had Hazard, Kaka, yeah. Yeah, but Speed. Who played the I Chunks? Mean, how did he get... How did you get, you get Wait, no, the Speed one I can understand because, mm. you know, they're kind of all... They're not yeah. all boys, but, like... They're all, like... How did you in. get Kaka, Makaleli, Hazard, I swear Roberto Carlos Tim was there. Taylor. Wait, let me let me look at the team. You know, even Antonio Conte and Wenger yeah, as managers, as, yeah. as, as, like, as managers, what? Was like, chunks is chunks is actually clear. Wait, where do you <laughs> find these contacts though? It doesn't no, make sense. Chunks, chunks. Oh yeah, it was Team Abu Fla versus Team Chunks. Let mm. me see if I can find the uh, um, if I can find the line team, the mm. team lineup team. But um, so like yeah, what I'm looking for is what do you think about like all that stuff that they do. I think it's it's first of all it's ent- entertaining. Mm. Second of all, it's good for the charity and stuff. I love it. I even just to watch it though. I think the funniest part, like I just think everyone enjoys seeing speed fail. And I'm not even trying to <laughs> I'm not even trying to be like a dickhead about it. Every when speed missed that penalty, it was the funniest thing I've seen in two what well, when was that? 2023. That was the funniest thing I've ever watched in my life. Then when Eaton scored, you know, in the Sidemen game, when he took off his shirt, when he scored in the in the place that he supports. See, it's lovely, like it just wholesome moments like that that it makes it makes it even more better to watch, you know. Even just seeing, even just seeing Hazard kick boy yesterday, I was emotional. You, this, this was this was the people who was on Trunks' team that mm. like with the big names. You're right, Roberto Carlos, Eden mm. Hazard, David Villa. Eh? Yeah, these <laughs> niggas had David Villa. Where did they get his number from? Eden Hazard. Mm. Um, and the other guy on his team, he had Kaka, Drogba, uh-uh. Tim Cahill. Uh. Uh-uh. Um, so I'm pretty sure Makaleli, uh, Claude Makaleli was mm. there. But how on earth are you getting Kaka, Makaleli, Hazard, Via, like Roberto Carlos? Where do you find these names? Like, like how? K- you know, but you have to look at it. And like, sometimes I don't think they realize, like to us people who are not on their level, mm. how big it is for them to get those type of players. Mm excuse me, to play for charity, to do something for charity, which is great. Like, I love seeing that. Yeah. You know, and I wish we had the platform here to do something like that. You know, imagine bringing Robbie Keane. Um, Roy Keane as well. Roy Keane. Roy Keane, Robbie Keane. Damien Dove. Damien Dove. Imagine us being able to bring... Seamus Coleman, Coleman as well. Why not? Seamus Coleman. Even Darcy. Bring them all. Imagine like us being there, because they're, they're kind of near retirement. Yeah. What's this one? Something done. Oh, my God. You played for City. Something done. Is it Richard Dunn? I don't know. And there's the other one who played for um, Stoke. What, Stephen Allen, isn't it? Not Stephen Allen. There's one player for Stoke. Why did they not come? (laughs) The Irish, whoever knows me, please correct me. The Irish um, striker who played for Stoke. Big guy. Oh, his name's not coming to my head and it's going to piss me off. But like, I would love to see us people in the industry um, get those people to play. I'll find his name. Yeah, Get those people to play... um, in charity a charity game, game. Mm. So that, like you know um stoke city irish striker why is there birds making sounds with stoke <laughs> jonathan walters okay james mclean oh my god oh, oh. and there's another half cast guy as well oh paul mcgrath paul Mc- I just, oh you know i've met before i've really? met before yeah when i was younger oh, very nice, nice guy <laughs> i lo- i i I love to take. I love to get them. Like, that's what we should be able to do here. Like, yeah, you know, get these people, get a charity match going. But like, and look, by God's grace, everybody will. Everybody's hustle will pay off, and Amen. You know, we'll all get there. Mm. But like, how much did chunks raise again? I think is this seven. Let me correct me if I'm wrong. But is this seven point five million? Let me just let me make sure chunks. Um, yeah, match for hope. That's what it was. Yeah. Um, let me. I don't want this playing in the background because of copyright. So I have to be very, very yeah, careful. Um, they had one point. F- they had one point what? One point eight million people watching. Kai. That is crazy. Fucking hell. Now I know I love it, but I'm pretty sure the side men have some crazy. Yeah, no, side men. You have Instagram there. Can you just check how much he raised for? Yeah, girl. Um, for the charity. Why would I even check it up? Just on his page. He said it on his page. On he his said page. it on his page. I think it is 7.5 million. I'm not 100% sure. But if you look up on his page, I think it is 7.5 million. Okay. 
Can you imagine that? I, that makes I oh yeah, seven point five million for children's chi- children's education. Nah, that's crazy. Fair play, chunks. Look, God bless, and you also go. I know. Sorry, Allah will reward your hustle in mm. Jesus. Name. Amen. I said in Wait, Jesus. Uh, Allah will reward your hustle. Okay. That doesn't even like I that. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think. Yeah, is it Alhamdulillah or? I, I have no clue, man. I, I, I think so. Um. So. Yeah. Speaking of interesting things that have happened in the last couple of weeks. <sighs> Mbappe, Mbappe, Mbappe. What do you think about um? Him going to Madrid. The way he left. Oh. PSG. I don't blame him, to be fair. I think it's disgraceful. You don't like the way he left? No. I, I You see, I don't blame him for leaving, but it might not be the best way to leave. I think it's a sneaky way to leave. Fully. I think if if you look if you look at if you look at it right, PSG have been nothing but good to this guy. Even yeah. when he wants okay, the game remember how much he gave him to stay a Do You know his his wages were fucking ridiculous though, I won't lie. To stay. They like, bro, they were crazy. What was he getting? They said hundred million euros. I can't imagine. To stay. You know, people don't even get hundred euros in their lifetime. <laughs> Never mind hundred million euros. 100 m million euros to stay jesus christ of nazareth ah and the guy what did the guy end up doing like you know he's like doing all this you know mbappe all i want to know is you know okay let me retract you know why i thought it was snaky right Mm. he has to look at it in a certain way right he the value that mbappe holds could help psg a lot because people have to remember ffp is a big thing you leaving that way means the club what yeah you're off the club's Books, but the club instead of you going for free, like the club could have made a lot. Remember how much did um, Madrid bid for him the last two, time? It was one seventy, like two hundred, nearly two hundred million, two hundred million, million, million. Yeah, and excuse me, and you go do that like you want to leave for free when there's a club that wanted to give the club. Like, we all know, Rick, well, everybody knew Mbappe was going to be a world star. I'll never forget the Under 16s World Cup. Mm. I don't know, we all know he's going to be a star. Yeah. And Monaco, he was doing it then at PSG. And PSG was a platform for him to show this mm. is who I am. I'm that guy. And I think that when they did that offer, he should have left then, mm. not now. But at the same time, you there, there will be people who probably say you are, you can blame PSG for not letting him go. Yeah, that's true but as well. He should have forced the move. Yeah. He should have been like, look, guys, I want to go to Madrid in the future. Mm. And I do not want to leave on a free. These men are offering you 170 million euro. Accept it, please. Accept it. There's other strikers out there. There's other people you can yeah. get. But I want to play for Real Madrid, so let me go. Now, if that conversation did happen, because obviously, you know, we're never going to know the conversation. Yeah. We're only going to see it from our eye. We're not going to see it from there. the outside. Mm. If that conversation did genuinely happen, and... PSG were like, no, we still want you to stay. Then mm. PSG, that's your own. That's your own foolish God, problem. problem. That, that's between that's you. That's your own. That's between you and your God. God knows. I'm not even messing. But uh-huh. If it was the same, like Mbappe was like, yeah, I'll stay. If I know Real Madrid wants to buy, I'll put a year on my contract so you can get yeah. money. Cap. And I don't think that's what happened. I think yeah. it's snaky happened because they said Mbappe is going to be the most expensive free transfer in the history of the sport. Yeah, there's like, a lot behind it. What I the hell? I don't understand it. Like. Because I think this agent is going to want a load, like a load of money as well, apparently. Yeah, but I think there's something to do with agents and how much they can actually get. Yeah. It's still, like, the Mbappe deal is going yeah, to... It's going to be... It's going to shock everybody. It's going it's gonna, it's, it's gonna to be a big boy. But, like, actually, who do you think PSG are going to buy to replace him? Because now that he's off their books... Rashford. Yes. Yeah, okay. But, like, now that he's off their books, they're, they're clearing off, like, a hundred and something million mm. off, off he because of his wages. Mm. So now they have, like, about a hundred and something million to spend on a few players or one player that can replace Mbappe who should who should they buy and who do Rashford. you think they're going to buy Rashford I think they should buy Rashford but I think they're going to get Victor Osimhen. I do think that as well yeah. I think they should get Rashford because mm. I feel like as much as I hate United I know Rashford is a class I know Rashford can be a world class player Yeah, I feel like United is holding back his true potential yes because I've said it before and i say it again I always said that it that club ah. it's back Ah, yeah. Yes. One stupid little cuckoo <laughs> fly just coming my way. Uh-uh. <laughs> ah, bye. Anyways, um, I think United are killing his real potential. Like, I know, like, I've seen Rashford at his best. Yeah. And it's terrifying. Very, like, very scary. Terrifying. Like, Rashford, Rashford at one point. <laughs> <laughs> hey! 
Scariest guy yeah, in the league, man. But by far. I think if he goes to PSG, obviously he's not gonna have as much competition. Yeah. And then he'll start being more free to yeah. do more. Rashidi, or more. Yeah, but I also think that it might even affect his like affect him when he wants to go play for like the World Cup or the Euros because of Gareth Southgate. We'll talk about that one in actually at the coming. I do want to talk about that. That, 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 guy, that guy is pissing me off. He's a annoying little he, bastard. He's a prick. I'm not English, right? But like, I have some English players on my team that I don't know why he's not picking. You know what I mean? But like, we'll talk about that after. But um, no, like Rashford. I genuinely think Rashford should be PSG's first, mm. and um, I think he should leave. I know he loves my United, but I think he need, he needs something new. I think he needs something. You know, yeah. He doesn't want to fall into like Jesse Lenga category, you know, all those ones that United, Martial, Martial yeah. all those people. Like, I want to see him shine, but mm. just not at my United, unfortunately, yeah. you know. And it's, it's a shame, well, so. it's a shame because even just touching on the Jesse, did you ever see, did you ever see that Jesse Lenga um, document, not the podcast he done with um, Stephen Barlett? So he's done a podcast with Stephen Barlett. Basically, oh, yeah. he was meant to go to Newcastle on loan. And United basically turned around and said last minute that he can't go because yeah. they need a certain amount of players to for a squad, their squad or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they told him to go take a two day break. And then they went to lie and say that he didn't come to training for two days. Can you see a culture on a football club that will tell you to do something and they'll I go? imagine. And that's your phone ringing. Yeah. Your mom? Yeah. Guys, this is the <laughs> second time this happened to this guy. What? Is he do? Where are you? Hello? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I'm going to ask him. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, because I'm fil- I'm filming right now. Like I'm I'm in the middle of it. Yeah. Talk to you after. Right. How many times do I have to say and say to you, tell your mom you are coming here, brother? This is the third or fourth time this has happened. I, Sam, talk to your brother. Talk to your brother. I just, I just do things, you know. I just start walking, you know. Mm, disrespectful. It's not disrespectful. I just forget. There's no forgetting. Tell your mom where you're going. Okay. Anyways, what were we saying? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Lingard. Jesse Lingard, yeah. I feel so sorry. I felt sorry for him because, you know, people will say, oh, Jesse Lingard overrated, but the guy at West Ham, I t- oh, man, I wish to let him stay at West that Ham. That lockdown period. Ah, ah, him Bowen, or who was it? Ah, for now. <laughs> the way they were cooking everybody. <laughs> Oh my god, um, they were cooking by, everybody. Well, why did he go to that team? West Ham, no FC Soul money. Abby, do you, you know, think? I don't think anyone was really offering him what he wanted. I think, he, I think he would have been a good shout for Luton. Luton, yeah, why? Because they have Ross Barkley, like, yeah, but where does Jesse Lingard actually play? Does he play midfield or in the 10? He plays a 10, and well, well, probably well, like an attacking. Well, like, where does Ross Barkley play? Eight. He plays it's, like he plays in a double double A system. Like, no, I think he would have been a good shout for Luton. Or know. even Sheffield or something. Just one of them Prem teams. But Jesse Lingard's way, Burnley. Burnley. I like. I think he just wants way too much money, and he's just not like he's not what he was during that lockdown period. Yeah. Like, because he did play for Nottingham Forest last year. Abby. he was there. Did he? Yeah, exactly. You didn't even know that because he was there. Yeah, he was there. Oh, he was injured or something. Yeah, he played there. He should have. St- he should have went to one of them clubs like that. Mm-hmm. Like want to stay up in the Premier or something. Even Everton, wouldn't have been bad. Yeah, Everton. Everton, Everton would have been bad. Mm. Everton, um, hmm. What do you think is gonna happen if they get relegated? Cause you know the big trouble if they get relegated. Cause mm. you know they're building a new stadium. Yeah, I think I think they won't come back <laughs> if they do re- get relegated. I don't know how Sean Dice is gonna stay there and they like because they're gonna lose so many players. Like I think Pickford will leave. I think okay, maybe not. Uh, okay, let me, let me what's t- his name? Bray to Bray to Bra- 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 He's he probably wants to leave already. Like let's look at it like this. Let's start from their defense. Mm. Um, Mikelenko. Mikelenko will leave. <laughs> Mikelenko will leave. Tarkovsky, Tarkovsky will, will, will leave. Probably leave yeah. to like Brentford or something. Mm. Go back with Ben Mee, yeah. What's Brayway already? He's already like linked with big teams in the club. 
in the, in the league. So he's going to leave regardless. Um, the right back. Patterson and Seamus Coleman. Seamus Coleman will stay because he's a loyal man. 100%. Patterson, I don't... I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't now, know. there's one player who I know that everybody wants. Oh, oh Nana. Nana. <laughs> <laughs> he will leave. <laughs> hey. Ah. Oh. Do Corey go to Saudi? Who else, who else is on that team? Cavaloon and Be- Beto. Both of them. I think he, we haven't seen Beto's true potential. Because he went to Everton. Oh, I think he should. My I think he should have went there. Yeah, I think we have Come Chelsea there, boy. <clears throat> you know, you should have probably got me, though. Know. Who? Beto. For what reason? Because he's a striker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me be, be, please, please respect my team what? with very big respect. What? The only one striker. Oh, that, gift or ban? No, that oh. one. Fuck him. He went to um, Leon. Oh, the, yeah. That one bastard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> only one striker. I will respect anybody. Come and put disrespect. That can only that can only fill in the boots of Harry Kane right now is mm-hmm. my big boy Ivan Tony at Brentford. Why are you doing this? You think he's gonna go to Chelsea? I didn't say I didn't want I don't want him to Chelsea. You want I want that? I want Aussie man. There's a difference. Man, I'd rather Ivan Tony over Aussie man any day. But I want uh, you see what so, you want. Wait, Ivan Tony or Aussie man? Oh Tony. But I want the, 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 I, I didn't say Osimhen was a better player. I said I want Osimhen. No, but I'm asking you. Let's forget about club. Who are you taking? Who would I take? Mm. Osimhen. Why? Because he's Nigerian. Oh, guy, come on. Give me a proper reason. Not because I don't, he's Nigerian. Because, I don't, because, you know, it's just been written in the stats for so many years now. Osimhen to... over Tony. I'm not saying that he's better. I just want him because of the story. No, fuck the story, bro. I want the story. Fuck the story. I'm a storyline kind of guy, man. Okay, well, trust me. Storylines are always going to win you up. Make you to Chelsea you wear once again. Hey, maybe you could. No, if you I got said maybe. Tony. 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 <sighs> See, I, Ivan Tony guy. It's like, like, after Harry Kane, that premise him. Him and Harry Kane are <laughs> the top two. No one else is near them. Don't, don't, I love with Watkins as well, though. Get, I like Watkins. No way. I like Watkins, man. I'm not putting Watkins. I like Watkins, man. I'm not putting bro. I like Watkins. I'm not putting Ali Watkins is a great striker, but he's nowhere near Ivan Tony and Kane level. Okay, but Ivan Tony and Kane are not on the same level, though. Ivan Tony and Kane. It's Kane. Kane. No, it's Kane. 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 It's Kane. Kane. Yeah. Ivan Tony, and then everyone else. No, no, no. You can't. You can't. You can't no, say that. I'm though. so sorry. <laughs> Kane, Tony, and everyone else. No, it's not though. It's Kane. Then you put Tony. And Watkins, and then everybody no, else. No, don't. You don't, can't. You don't, can't tell me that Tony. Don't do and, this, well, bro. Bro, don't do this. What's going on here? It's it's Kane, Tony, and everyone else. It can't be like no, that. No, I'm it's so not. sorry. It's not. It I'm can't so be. sorry. No. Oh my god. Aston Villa, I still good without Watkins. When Tony came back, you seen the way Brentford are. Okay, that, they, that, that shouldn't have a point in this play. Yes, it I'm, should. It's because, a player. We're talking about players now. I don't care about the teams now. Oh. Watkins and Tony are. Literally on the same level. No. Ah! Oh my god. What's going on? Are you actually having <laughs> this conversation right now? Wait. Are you saying Ivan Tony and Oli Watkins are on the same level? Yes. You are crazy. You are mad. You are crazy. <laughs> yeah. What no. you did? Are you drunk? No. I hear what you're saying. I, right Sam, now. Sam has influenced you way too much. Not even. Not even. Because no, he doesn't play for any of my teams. No. But the teams. Sam mentality you have started with again. No, there's the not same, Sam mentality. The same brother of yours that dead. Look in look at the comments right now. Look at the comments right now. If Tony and Tony and Watkins on the same level. Wait, I'm not saying one isn't there a way to check on the Premier League um, players that, was, that like you can compare players? Yeah, but yeah. I, t- I swear Watkins. Oh no, they've been there around the same time anyway. Okay, compare. What? No, yeah, I don't get that man. I just feel no, it, I just feel that they're on the same. That's from what my eyes are saying. But I don't like I don't like either of them. If, if, get it twisted. If someone said I could take any player in the Prem, I'm not even thinking twice. Striker, I'm taking Ivan Tony over everybody. And stri- oh, on the striker level. On the striker level. I still take. I still. I will see. So you're taking Watkins over Tony. I didn't say I would take Watkins. I didn't say you it was see? better. You're, you're I said they're the same you're, level. They're not the same I said, level. I let's said they're the same level. Bro, There's a difference. Come on, let's There's not a difference. do that. There's a difference. Watkins is a great player. I'm not here. Mm, to... Watkins is a fantastic player. Watkins is a great player. He's not Ivan Tony level. He's the same level as Ivan Tony. Sorry, no, he's not. 100%. No, he's not, bro. Let's, let's not do... You know, this. we should start doing poll, man, because we need to start doing votes on these on these comments because I actually don't know. No, the fact you are trying to say Ivan Tony. I, you, do you know who Ivan Tony is, bro? Do you know who Ollie Watkins is? He's nowhere near Ivan Tony. Ah, ah. Jesus Let me Christ. Do this. Um, what's the other one's name? Now, maybe I'm wrong, but... See, when I look at Ivan Tony, I'm not just looking at him as a striker. I'm looking at everything he does on the pitch. As a complete player, I'm taking Tony. I just think they're the same. 
So what's the stats say? So this is the stats at the moment. Or do I have quick all season? So that's twenty. Is this okay? All season. So mm-hmm. will we do it based off what season was he not um off? He was off all the last season. Yeah, no, it's from January to. Wait, what? When so it'll be 2021, 2022 be the best way to compare them. Yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. So 2021. Oh, um, Tony, 33 appearances. Watkins, 35. Goals, Tony, 12. Watkins, 11. Assist, Tony, 5. Watkins, 2. Oh, the clean sheets don't really matter for this. Mm. Goals per match, Tony was higher. Mm-hmm. Minutes per goal, Tony was lower, mm. which is shots on. Tony had more shots. Um, Tony had more shots. Um, our Watkins had more shots on target. Mm. Tony had more shots off target, but Tony had more shots off target. If you get what I mean. Mm-hmm. Um, penalty scored five. One penalty. I mean, it's who scored the most penalties? Tony. Okay. Um, shots accuracy and um, Watkins has a higher one. Sh- mm-hmm. Shooting success, Watkins penalties one. Watkins goals with life, but Tony more. Man, I'm taking Tony over every day of the week. Hi, like, bro. I, how are you even? I, I don't even know I why just you're don't, like. I see that. I think I I think Tony a both of them are good, right? I think they're good, but I just think they're on the same standards. I don't think the one is better than the other. Yeah, but I'm talking if you if I if okay. If when I look at T- Watkins, yeah, Watkins is just a natural striker. Mm-hmm. He's like someone that I'm not like I don't know how many goals he's gonna like how many goals is he on this season? Let me check. He's on a good few. He has on like Tony's only come back right. Yeah. So, Tony in six appearances has scored four goals. Watkins in twenty six appearances has scored thirteen goals. So the question we have to ask is if Watkins was if Tony was there earlier, would he be if it was there earlier, he wouldn't have stayed at Brentford. Who who knows? Mm. Who knows? But I'm just okay. But um, I'm saying I would rather Tony mm. personally because I know he just reminds me of Harry Kane mm. in the sense like he has a uh, passing, shooting, assisting, left foot, right foot. He he uses his footballing brain. Mm. I'm not saying that Watkins does not have a footballing brain. Yeah, of course, he's a good footballer. But mm. like, if you're talking about a player who you know that you could. Play as a 10, play as a striker, play on the right. I'm taking Ivan Tony all day over Watkins. Like, wh- why, why, why are you even having this argument? But no, I'm not si- I'm not, Watkins is, a, Watkins and Tony, like. They're I'm not just, on the same level. I'm just saying the same level. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. They are not. Because, you know, see, if, because, if, we're, because we're, like, I'm not saying these are the two players that Watkins, let's say if you compare it to Haaland, because Haaland's just a striker, right? And then Kane to Tony. You see, they're on the why same. Why do I have these things? I'm actually gonna keep these on because that, then, you, when you look at that, when people were saying that oh, Kane was better than Haaland, it's the same thing. They're on the same level. So are Tony and Watkins. They're just they're on the level below them. It's fine. It's okay. Wait. Who are you calling? He better answer his phone because if he doesn't, I'm gonna kill him. Is my Hello? phone still okay? Yeah. Sam, say hi to everybody. Sam, question. Is your brother in Ireland? Yeah. I'm going to Liverpool literally in a couple, like an hour. Okay, anyways, go with <laughs> Sam, who you taking here? Sam, okay. Me me and your brother are having an argument right now. Mm-hmm. I said it's Kane, Tony, and everyone beneath. But he's saying K- Tony and Watkins are on the same level. Ivan Tony and Ollie Watkins are on the same level. Do you agree or disagree? Ah, can this one not just answer question? Abi, he's thinking there, isn't he? I'm gonna say Martinez. <laughs> <laughs> now I said Tony and Tony is far more. On a better level than Watkins, but he says they're on the same level. You know what? Yeah. In terms of, in terms, of, okay, I think um, how I'm looking at it is like, why are you looking at it today? Sam, just answer the question. It's not a, it, Sam, just please answer the question. Just don't, don't explain anything. Just 
Is it Tony is better than him by far, or is Oli Walker and Tony on the same level? Parts of the night better. Like, if we check what came to current stats, you can't compare them because remember Tony only came. Tony back. only came back. Yeah, I know, but, but when we checked, when we checked it, when when we checked it, when they both had a full season, it, Tony was kind of better. No, check because Tony was still playing last year. Check Tony, Tony wasn't Tony playing played, last. Tony, Tony, Tony was on months. a ban last he year. He went on a ban, man. Forget. The, that was like in January of last year. Yeah, but Tony was a bit bad since. Can you answer the fucking <laughs> question? <laughs> Sam, man. Tony's a complete forward, yeah. He's literally the same archetype as Kane. Like, but not as good, but same similar archetype. It's okay, Sam, let's forget about everything. Who are you taking? Tony or Kane? Or Watkins? Manchester United have 100 million. Both these players cost 90 million. Which one are you taking? Oh. Oh my god! Oh, no, oh. oh my god, Sam, answer the question, please! Let's just hang up. God bless you all. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. God bless you, Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. No. Thank you. No. Yes. No. Yes. I yes. don't like this. Thank you. You people, please let me know. Oh my Unless god. I'm going crazy. Watkins, are Watkins and Ivan Tony on the, the same, same level? level? Yes, they or are. Or is Tony. And then everybody else. Because in my opinion, that's what it is. It's Tony and everybody else. That's okay. just me. Anyway. Okay. I was yeah. even surprised. I thought Sam was going to say Hoyland. <laughs> why is this guy taking forever to answer? Oh my God. Yeah, I well, literally... no, thank, thank God we didn't say Hoyland. Because that one, oh my Holy, God. he will talk from morning to night. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Waiting for a miracle to do you come. See, do you see he aired that guy when he was there? Yeah, I did, yeah. so bad. I won't lie. But, um... Anyways, this one, oh my god, I'm so excited about this one. But anyways, it's, it's, what's wrong with your team? My team. Why do you want to buy Brighton? Todd Bowie, if you wanted to buy Brighton, why it was it go? was cheaper. Go there now. <laughs> go there. <laughs> Brighton wouldn't have even cost you that much Bro, money. Bro, I think he's literally bought like what eleven of the fucking staff. Like, I think it's, it's close to a full of, like because of Kukurella, Caicedo, Ka- Potter. Then all the backroom staff of them and all of that rubbish. Sanchez as well. I forgot about that stupid just keeper. I forgot about him. They're, all of them. You said Caicedo. Yeah, I said Caicedo, yeah. And then he bought the head of recruitment. Head of recruitment, all of this. The manager, all the backroom staff, the goalkeeping the goalkeeping manager, all of them. Oh, my God. The Seppi's coach. Man, buy that building, why don't you? Fucking hell. Like, what, what is that about? How many Chelsea... I think Fabrizio said it recently as well. How many Brighton staff have Chelsea... Like, it's actually ridiculous, though. Brighton's highly sought backroom staff, Jewel, becomes the eleventh member. Eleventh member. Eleventh. Eleventh. Mm. What, what is wrong with you people, man? Leave the. It's team not you alone. people. It's Todd Bully. It's only him. No, but leave them alone. Like let, let them, them rest. rest, man. Fuck. At this point, I, if I was Brighton, I would just say, "Do you want to buy the club?" Yeah, honestly. At, at this point, like only, honestly, and you take their players, and you still can't beat them. We bet them this year, Joe, twice. They already. beat you last year twice. Nah, we bet... Yeah, they did, actually. Mm. Why, why would you beat them when you're taking everything? <laughs> you might as well take their team. You might as well take their pitch. You might as well take their fans. Abby? Buy their fans. We buy them. But I don't understand, like... What, what is the problem with Chelsea and doing this? Like, why has it not stopped? Like... I don't know. It's the, it's the big man bullying the little man, though, isn't it? Mm. That's what that's why I see in it. Because he came in with a lot of money. And obviously... He's well richer than the Brighton owner. I, I just like he just has the money to take everything that they want. Yeah, but you can, you can take all what you want, but you can't take the way a club is ran. Yeah, because you can't you can't because Chelsea and Brighton, no matter what we say, like Chelsea's Chelsea's here, Brighton are not like one hundred percent Chelsea. But we Chelsea's know. here and Brighton are here, mm-hmm. but like we can't now since the Toboli came down, we have now surpassed below <laughs> Brighton. Like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And you buy half of the, half of the fucking like staff people. And we're going below them. You know, it's because he's he's so stupid. Because he, th- I think in his head, he was just like, oh, London club. He just thinks that London is the only place in England. That's why I think his thought process was. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then, he's like, oh, let me let me do this. Let me spend one billion pounds, British pounds on players. <laughs> and let me finish 10th. Like, you know what I mean? He's, he's a bit stupid though. Like, if he, honestly, right? If he did this with Tuchel. Because I remember, I remember, this is what I was thinking, right? 
if he kept Tuchel and bought the players Tuchel wanted, because Tuchel is a very like he's a very arrogant guy. So wh- when he brings a player up front for them to buy, he wants that player. There's a reason that he wants that player, and that's when his first disagreement was with Tabuli. He wanted delay. Because I thought it was Ronaldo he wanted. No, he, no, it was. That's when they disagreed that Tarboli wanted Ronaldo because of the mm. sales of the mm. shirts, and Tuchel said it's not good for the, it's not good for the dressing room, in it. So that's when they disagreed. They had a lot of disagreements because Tarboli is a fucking. Is, let me not finish that sentence because I want to go to heaven, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but like Tuchel, Tuchel <laughs> when Tarboli first came, right? Tuchel wanted somebody to replace Rudiger. Mm. And someone's big Christensen because both of them left for free. Remember, remember they left for free. Christensen, yeah. Yeah. So his first people were Delit and I think some and Kulubali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so. Kul- Kulubali, right? Oh my god, Kulubali even played for Yeah, you. exactly, right? So he wanted Delit first. Delit mm. was his first name. We we placed we placed the bid on them. But then you know what they did? Bayern's um what's it called? The exporting director went to went to um, Italy and did everything, and then he went to Juventus, and that's why he went there. So he was, he was like, okay. Then he said Kunde, right? Remember the whole saga with Kunde? Mm. He wanted Kunde, and then when we were about to do everything, uh-uh. he, you know, shit. Oh, this stupid fly. Uh, then, then he went to Barca. He wanted Rafinha. He went to Barca. He wanted Lewandowski. He went to Barca because they didn't do stuff quickly in it. Even this year. We nearly lost down Caicedo in the last few minutes because Liverpool came in with a surprise, with a surprise thing. But because Caicedo, God bless his also just name, because he was so loyal to Chelsea, that's why he, he, he don't yeah, like Todd. So yeah, but like Todd Bully, he's, he's stupid. Like he's stupid because mm. even the even the backroom staff that he's getting, I'm just like, what are they watching on that page that they're do, using to buy the players that they've bought? Because I'm just like, we like at the start for the first six months of the season, this season right now. You buy, you have two hundred and twenty million spent on two centre mids, one CDM and one centre mid, yeah. and they're completely like their profiles don't align. You know what I mean? I swear that's what I know. Their profiles never aligned. But then, when you look at the first six months of Chelsea's um, Chelsea's season this year, Conor Gallagher was the best midfielder, and he's an academy prospect. Mm. You know what? And then even like that, even before the, that's why I know the club is stupid as well. Because even before like Torboli came in, the academy players that they let go. I swear that was Tammy not. Abraham. Oh my god, I love Tammy because he came in where Frank. Remember when Frank Lampard was there? Mm. Tammy scored like twenty goals that season. Like, then you let Tomori go. Kyle Tomori is one of the best centre backs, at least top ten in the world right now. No hundred percent. I don't. Disagree yeah, with that. like even uh, t- what's his name, Lamptey as well. They let him go. Imagine, imagine if you keep all these players and then you wouldn't have had to spend all these ridiculous dollars and money. Yeah, that's the problem. You see, you see, my thing was. The reason why I don't believe Chelsea were ever like mm. Ninu Okbolo Toblowi, mm. he can't think that Chelsea is going to be like that. Yeah, Chelsea will never be like that again because when Abramovich was there, there was he a was culture mm. that, in as much as I'm paying for you, anybody can get it. Mm. You sure, if the manager is doing shit, you're gone. Mm. Players so, doing I shit. What's it? John B. Mikel, he said that he came, he came into the Chelsea room. He said. I will sell you and buy so many as I have the money to do it. You see, you see that rule. You see that rule. <laughs> that's, that's and that that's the problem though with him. Like Abramovich understood winning. Mm. He was like, "We are going to win whatever the cost is. I yeah. don't care. Exactly. I don't care how good, bad, or any of you are. Mm. If you are a problem to this team, yeah. you are gone. Gone for little. Like look, look at when they won this. Was it the Champions League they won? Mm. When they won cha- Bro, hey. Wait, under Tuchel or under... It, under Tuchel. Under Tuchel. I, know what the yeah. champions I was like, yo, these man just look like a team that are ready. They were ready to die for the bar. Bro, it was so... Like, I, you know the <laughs> thing is, Roman Vanovich never went to London because he was... Remember, he was like banned or something. Yeah. So he never talked to the team until that day. Mm. So imagine, like, they, they see, the players that played in that Champions League final were playing for the badge and they were playing for Tuchel because they loved him so much. But then, when you when you when Roman and Barfield sells that American idiot that we, I call my own the owner of my club, you know you know what the problem is. You see when mm. Abraham, I think that guy that guy that guy Loki Don Shakara for Abraham yeah hundred percent. I think he was like I'm gonna do this I'm mm. gonna do this because like, Abramovich said Abramovich basically said I'm not selling the club just to anybody. Yeah, I'm gonna sell it to someone who's gonna actually take care of the. Yeah, club. exactly. 
You got oh bet you that God. guy lied. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make sure. Oh I'm gonna invest God. this amount of money. Mm. Hey, and then, he, then he signed papers and he said, "Jesus he said, Christ, nah. man!" You know, it's that some sim sim shit. It's like mm. he signed the papers and said, "Yeah, now it's Michael. I can do what the fuck I want to do. Like mm. you have nothing." But I think the one thing they did say is like they're not allowed to make money off the club for the next ten years. Or yeah, something. yeah. So like, which is which is good. Which like. is very good, like because everything he makes from the club, he goes back into the mm. club. That, that's very good. But other than that, man, Todd Bowley, fuck you. Honestly, like I, if you ever see this, you probably won't. But fuck you, honestly, from a Chelsea fan, I fuck you, cause I know he's gonna be there tomorrow. Cause now since we're talking about oh, Chelsea, tomorrow, yes. Since we're talking about Chelsea, yes. The day that Chelsea could make or break me, you know, Chelsea in the Carabao Cup final week after the two years you have put me through, please, eh? <laughs> I don't want to cry on camera. Please, just win tomorrow for me, cause I'm going to watch it with two Liverpool fans as well. <laughs> oh, you're in trouble. So if we lose. I'm going to start crying in public because I think, right? Mm. Because if we, I think, I'm pretty sure if you get Cabra Cup, you go into like European, what's it called? You go into something. Isn't it FA Cup? I, I think FA Cup is for Europa League, no? Um, I'm not sure if they go into the Conference League straight away, but um, mm. I know with FA Cup. Yeah. yeah. But like, I think Chelsea, like Chelsea's like, this whole like process, the start of something new, the, it starts from tomorrow. If we win tomorrow, right? That's the start of the project that will then you finally see that the project is project finished. Mm. That's the only way you can see. If you lose tomorrow, the project is dead. Dead it right there. You really think it's that I, quick? Th- bro, I think you should dead it right there. Because honestly, like even just to get to that final, we were losing one nil to Moody's bro in the semi-final. And the only reason why we won in, in the second leg is because Chelsea were playing at home and the fans at home, they just love it so much. But I don't know. See, because all this thing, all this shit I'm seeing about Jurgen Klopp as well, that oh it's his farewell tour, that oh he's leaving at the end of the season, that he wants to win all the, all the trophies that he possibly can, and all this rubbish. Please, referees as well, please allow. Like I don't, I don't care about Jurgen Klopp. Honestly, I couldn't care less. He can leave. He can leave for all I care. I don't care. Mm. But tomorrow, the, I feel like the referees, even just even if it's not purposely. Or they, I feel like they're gonna go on Jurgen Klopp's st- st- like side because he's leaving and he brought so much to the league. I just feel like that's what's gonna happen tomorrow. And I think I know no matter how much because I, mean, I remember I said it to you in the car that you you said that they won the referees, but I don't think I don't think they listen because you know that scoundrel and the Italian has been screwing over Chelsea for years. Who's the referee for tomorrow? I actually don't know. Oh. Check for me there. You know if it's Anthony Taylor, I'm not watching it. I'm telling you right now. But it's not only about referee. It's also about the oh. teams as well because they have a lot of injuries. Carabao Cup final. Oh, it's Chris Cavanaugh. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, who's on VAR then? Um, but tomorrow is going to be tense because you know, you know when you know when someone was like making statements like that, like don't be doing all this stuff. Yeah. You know, club only and he there likes talking too much. Yeah. Because that's it. Yeah, 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 this and that. Yeah, so it's just to get a decision like, like for Wait, people need to realize, yeah. The problem with this um Liverpool thing didn't just start this season. It started because of the whole Spurs game mm. that they got fucked over. Yeah. And we all know they got fucked over, like but yeah, know, everyone people, knows they got fucked over, but people, still people make mistakes. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that was that was an error, very big error. But then when I, I'm I'm not using Chelsea as an example because obviously they're playing mm. them tomorrow. But like when we went to Anfield. The, there were two penalty shouts that I can't believe that because Virgil Van Dijk he hit off Conor Gallagher and Conor Gallagher it was enough for Conor Gallagher to fall down mm. in the box and it wasn't given. The exact same thing happened with Nukuku and the other end and they still did not give penalty. That match could have been so much more different if you know, good. I never knew they had a reserve referee. Hmm? I never knew there was a reserve referee. What do you mean? Like there's a reserve assistant referee. What does that mean? Like a reserve referee, like. But I don't understand that one. Like. It's, I don't know if it's I'm going crazy here, but yeah, reserve assistant referee. So the referee for tomorrow is Chris Kavanagh. Assistant referees are Mike Scholes and James, this James guy. James guy, yeah. And four official is Tim Robinson. Mm. Assistant ref reserve assistant referee. So I think it's something just happened to them. Okay, okay, okay. And um, it's some guy called Wade Smith. V A or is John Brooks and hey. A V or is Mike Perry. Okay, it's not bad. 
Not bad, yeah. No, I don't think they would let Anthony Taylor, man. Like, yeah, <laughs> that no, guy's no. already got himself in a bit of trouble. Let's not forget. He's in trouble, yeah, honestly. So you you just hope that tomorrow. Like, I, this, I, just, this episode, I I want to lose fair. If we lose fair, if we lose, I want it to be fair. But if we win, I want it to be fair as well. So this episode will be out on where is my calendar? Week. So this episode will be out. So let me see on the. Wednesday next week, the sixth of March. Sixth of March. So no, no. We'll know. We'll, we'll know the results. We'll know then. the result then. But um, bro, the last thing I actually want to speak to you about is mm. Francis and Ganu and Anthony Joshua. Joshua. Yeah. How do you think that's gonna go? Um. See, we can't. Re- you can't even really like do much research on them because, because Francis, Francis Ganu has one boxing match. Fight. Yeah, and he took on. Yeah. Tyson Fury. And some he, people will say he could have won, won that match. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> but I don't know because I think the winner is fighting Tyson Fury and Usyk, but that fight is not until, not in the, until like July or something mm. now. It got postponed yeah. for some reason. But like, I think Francis Ngannou is going to um, absolutely destroy him. Honestly, I think yeah. he, I think he's going to knock I, him the I fuck think, out. I man. think it's going to be, I think it's just going to be one of them knockout matches. I mm. think it's whoever gets that smack. Yeah, but like, I don't think, like, I don't think when like I don't think Francis Ngannou has ever been knocked down though. Man, he has. But like by hit, like I'm pretty sure when he fought the guy in UFC. Which guy? Remember when he fought that Steve Stipe guy? Yeah, he knocked him. Wait till. Wait, wait. Because I I've never seen I've never seen Francis Ngannou on the ground okay, like be Francis. knocked to the ground like. Ngannou. Maybe I'm wrong though. I don't know if he's ever been. Uh, maybe it was by points. Maybe I'm wrong. Versus Stipe. Hang on. Oh, stop playing. Stop. I don't want copyright, you people. <laughs> oh. Ads, ads, ads. I'm never going to pay for YouTube. For me. <laughs> I promise you, people. Man, I don't stop, care how much, stop this nonsense. Like. like, I don't think you people realize. I don't care how much money I have <laughs> in this life. There's so many things I'm not paying for. <laughs> Oh, went to decision. What is it, yeah? Went to decision. That's my bad. Mm. Then <laughs> Ganu, no. <laughs> Ganu beat the hell out of him in the second fight. Yeah, ah! The guy's eyes went... I was just like, nah. But um, what do I, th- I think with the Joshua fight, it's going to be... um, If it goes to full distance, Joshua will win on points. Yeah, because he's the boxer. Mm. But, but if it goes to... if it, nah, it's, <laughs> if someone gets knocked out... Oh, it's going to be anti You know, they all, they all say, you haven't felt my power... Mm. My power. I think people me that's not for guys. As much as I love Anthony Joshua and I want him to win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He did get I want knocked. He did get knocked down by um that um and Andy Ruiz, Ruiz fella. And, and he I was about five foot. Yeah, <laughs> like, so um, I haven't forgotten no. Like obviously Anthony Joshua, he's improved, right? Mm, a big from, time. From mm-hmm. since he lost mm. the championship, right? He's improved, right? He's looked better in shape, like and he looks more confident in himself as well. Mm. But when you have someone like Francis Ngannou that has nothing to lose now. Maybe that's what people need to forget. Yeah, and Ganu nothing. has nothing to lose. He has been UFC champion. Like he's been he, UFC champion. In fairness, people will say he should have bet Tyson Fury. Yeah. So even if he loses to you, they'll just say, "Oh, he's the boxer. He yeah, he should have won." Yeah. So now that Francis Ngannou has nothing to lose, and Anthony Joshua, ha- when he gets pressed, he gets like, "Oh, he kind of like goes back." Mm. So if Francis Ngannou presses Anthony Joshua like that, I cannot, I cannot see Anthony Joshua winning. I won't lie. Yeah, because Francis Ngannou is a scary guy. You know, oh. he's a scary, scary, scary guy. Francis Ngannou is a. What do they say? They say when he punches someone, it's like, it's like hit by like a four focus going mm, sixty miles per hour. Or yeah, that that's a pow- that's a power punch. Right people, I don't think people realize a small, a medium sized car going sixty miles per hour hitting you is no joke. You will fly. No, yeah, exactly. Like you will fly in the mm. air. Jesus Christ! I just I I think Francis Ngannou is gonna win that, and then. I think you'll fight Tyson Fury again, maybe in Saudi or something. Maybe at next year or the end of the year or something. Nah. I, I think, don't see I you think, I think I think what's going to happen is if it goes to points, they're going to give it to Joshua. Mm. So then if Tyson beats Usyk, then Tyson and Easy. Joshua will mm. fight in Wembley. And that will sell out. Mm. They're going to make a lot of money on that though. And they'll still do more than your Super Bowl. <laughs> Fully, you know. Cause that's a fight that everyone's been waiting for for. But well, isn't it not, isn't it not interesting that like 
boxing like you know there was a time that everybody was watching boxing then like obviously mm. all the influencers got involved yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like they can make it's like nearly you, you can nearly make oh there's a train that okay guys look we thank you for watching unfortunately we have to run to get this is the second time guys i've done this in like last week when i was doing the dmj same thing happened we have to run for the train Kai. Um, eddie has to get a train i do indeed Where honestly is guys look we thank you for watching this far and we will have a new piece of content coming for you very soon watch out for that maybe in march maybe in march march yeah in march will have it yeah i have to just order something mm. i'll have that coming down for you so you'll get something more than just the podcast and mm. just to let you know me and eddie will be streaming soon i just have to figure out how to i know how to, i kind of know but i don't know so much yeah, anyways but we're gonna start streaming soon and trust me we're gonna just chat a lot of shit <laughs> play games and chat shit yeah exactly and, like, Anyway, guys, look, it is whatever time it is right now. Mm -hmm. But thank you for watching it this far. Have a good week. And to Sam, F you for <laughs> agreeing. And guys, enjoy your week. Have a good time. And see you. Bye. Good luck.